When did Lil Scoon die after y'all got in the house? Um, he passed away leaving the house. Leaving the house. Yeah. So he got shot outside your house. Ooh. We was all standing outside, and well, we went all. I walked my company out personally, so it was just me, his homie, and him, and we was standing at the gate, and they Uber pulled up, and Will, his homie, walked up to the car, and he was getting in the car first. And Schoon was still talking to me, and then he turned around and walked away. And as they was walking away, and I was turning back to go inside the gate, they just got to shooting, like, everywhere. Like, it was so much shooting. And I just ran back in the house, and I, I ran upstairs to my mama. Hmm. So who was Nene? What was going on at least that time on the porch? Yes. So when we got to the porch, Schoon them kind of made it before us because we had went to the store. I had went to the store to get woods because everybody was saying I didn't have a bag. I only had woods in my hand and it was in my pocket. Um, we got there, we was on the porch, but on the porch I was texting my mom and my stepdad because I don't have a key. Everybody who come to my house know I don't have a key. Like I lost a lot of parakeets, so my mama won't ban me no more. Um, we was there, I was calling my mama, but she was not answering. She was in the back cooking. My stepdad had just dropped me and Nene off and we were standing on the porch. I was texting him to see if we could come around the back because I have a back door. I was texting him to see if we could come around the back to um, go through the door, but he wasn't there. So he said he pulled right off after he dropped us off. So we were just standing on the porch for a long time. Like it was a long time. And we just could not get in until my mama finally came up the door. She had the music blasted, all type of stuff. So a crazy statement saying that we all finna die. Uh, some shit like that, right? We all finna die tonight or something. Uh, what made you say that? Okay, so like. I don't know how to put this. Like, if somebody's like just taking long to do something, like, I don't know how like to give an example. Like, if somebody you at the front door and somebody just taking all day, like, if a dog was chasing me, I would have died. Like, something like that. I wasn't saying it like, oh, we finna die. Like, somebody finna come kill us. I'm just saying like, damn, she taking all day. We finna die out here. Like, I wasn't saying like that type stuff. Like, I feel like everybody took it that way because of the situation. Like afterwards, right. but. It wasn't never meant to like harm school or to jinx anything or nothing. It was just, that's how I talk. Like, we all finna die. You taking all day. Like, if someone was chasing us, we would have died at the door. So it wasn't never meant like that to like yeah. jinx nobody. Um, and one more thing. I'm sorry to say last but not least because the more I talk to you about it and I think about the video. <laughs> I told you I don't have no key. I take it to the house camera. I don't have no key. Like, is you so? Oh, good bad. It's the easy to try to try. Yeah. Go. Oh. Why y'all ain't just coming back? It's the back door. No. What you mean, mommy? Come to the back. Oh. What's going on, YouTube gang? It's your boy FYB Mark coming back at you with another video. And today we're going to be speaking on the situation on Journey, going to sit down on DJU's couch and doing an interview. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. I don't know if y'all remember the whole situation with Journey, you know, Nene Brooks, Lil Schoon, and you know, that whole ring footage at the front door and people saying, oh yeah, certain people going to die and... And you know, them going in the house because she did say they did go in the house. And after, you know, them exiting the, the crib, you know, the vicinity and, you know, whatever they had transpired inside the crib, Lil Scoom ended up losing his life, bro. And I ain't gonna lie to you, G. Y'all just don't understand how much of this just don't make no damn sense, G. Because you are admitting to being on your phone, admitting to texting people, like... Bro, and then on top of that, Nene, she, we ain't hearing Nene say shit. 
Let's be honest. Nene ain't sitting on that couch with you. Come on now. So I'm going to be real, bro. A lot of this stuff that Journey then sat up on, on DJU couch and said, bro, about this whole situation, it don't make no sense to me, at least. It sound like you two young ladies played something in that young man's murder, bro. On the real. And it's very unfortunate. It's very sad, bro. And y'all just beating around the bush. And bro, man, this is crazy, G. Crazy. But it's your boy FYB Mar, man. I'm just giving y'all my thoughts in this situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the conversation. A lot of the things that I feel like that Journey was saying, you know, in behalf of what transpired in the situation, you know, and Lil Scoom Lufus in his life that night. You know, we done all seen the ring footage from, you know, the outside. You know, we don't know what happened inside the crib. And we all didn't see the whole thing of the exit of the crib either. But I ain't even going to lie to you. From what we seen from the ring footage and what we hear her say, it just don't sound right, bro. To, at least to me, bro. Because, man, it sounds like one of y'all was behind closed doors, texting somebody, hitting somebody up, telling them like, yeah, scoom here, scoom, yada, yada, yada. And guess what? They slid by and got scoom because you over there saying that, yeah, somebody going to whoop, somebody going to drop tonight. Like, that's outrageous, bro. And I'm going to be honest. I understand the factor of, you know, you losing a lot of keys and your parents not wanting to give you keys. But at the same time, G, like, I'm going to be honest. This ain't the parents' the parents' fault. This ain't the daddy's fault because the daddy dropped you and Nene off. This ain't the mama' fault because the mama was in the crib turning up, listening to her some Tupac, how do you want it? Like, it ain't her fault, bro. Let's keep it a buck, bro. This is your fault. This is 100% your fault. One of y'all young ladies was doing some bogus-ass shit and got this young man killed on the real. But I ain't going to lie to you. I'm just giving y'all my thoughts and my opinion. But it's your boy, FYB Marmay. I'm just giving y'all my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells on. And I'm out. And the little scoom died after y'all got in the house. Um, He passed away leaving the house. Leaving the house. Yeah. So he got shot outside your house? Ooh. We was all standing outside and... Well, we went all, I walked my company out personally. So it was just me, his homie and him. And we were standing at the gate and they Uber pulled up and Will, his homie walked up to the car and he was getting in the car first and school was still talking to me. And then he turned around and walked away. And as they was walking away and I was turning back to go inside the gate, they just got to shooting like everywhere. Like it was so much shooting. And I just ran back in the house and I, I ran upstairs to my mama. Hmm. So who was Nene? What was going on at least that time on the porch? Yes. So when we got to the porch, Scoom them kind of made it before us because we had went to the store. I had went to the store to get woods because everybody was saying I didn't have a bag. I only had woods in my hand and it was in my pocket. Um, we got there. We was on the porch, but on the porch, I was texting my mom and my stepdad because I don't have a key. Everybody who come to my house know I don't have a key. Like, I lost a lot of parakeets, so my mama wasn't bad me no more. Um, we was there. I was calling my mama, but she was not answering. She was in the back cooking. My stepdad had just dropped me and Nene off, and we were standing on the porch. I was texting him to see if we could come around the back, because I have a back door. I was texting him to see if we could come around the back to um, go through the door, but he wasn't there, so he said he pulled right off after he dropped us off. So we were just standing on the porch for a long time, like it was a long time. And we just could not get in until my mama finally came up the door. She had the music blasted, all type of stuff. So hey, a crazy statement saying that we all finna die. Uh, some shit like that, right? We all finna die tonight or something. Uh, what made you say that? Okay, so like, I don't know how to put this. Like, if somebody's like just taking long to do something, like, 
I don't know, I like to give an example, but like if somebody, you at the front door and somebody just taking all day, like if a dog was chasing me, I would have died. Like something like that. I wasn't saying it like, oh, we finna die. Like somebody finna come kill us. I'm just saying like, damn, she taking all day. We finna die out here. Like I wasn't saying like that type stuff. Like I feel like everybody took it that way because of the situation like afterwards. Right. But it wasn't never meant to like harm school or to jinx anything or nothing. It was just, that's how I talk. Like we all finna die. You taking all day. Like. If someone was chasing us, we would have died at the door. So it wasn't never meant like that to like yeah. jinx nobody. Um, and one more thing, I'm sorry to say last but not least, because the more I talk to you about it and I think about the video. <laughs> Oh, right. I'm good, man. So this is the pattern. Yeah. Oh. Why are you just coming back? Is the back door open? No. What you mean by me? Come to the back. Oh.